Ух! Hey, Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and me and my boy Tom are looking for earthworms. We need worms. Yeah, we need earthworms to catch bluegills to use with bait for flatheads. So we're gonna play the whole food chain game. So, any rate, I'm gonna try a new method for catching earthworms. I'm gonna try worm grunting. So all I've got here is the uh, worm getter. It's a worm grunting stick. It's basically a yeah. It's basically an oak stick that you rub these two sticks together and the sound's supposed to drive worms out of the ground. So you drive it into the ground, you do the sound, and the sound scares the worms out of the ground. So that's the theory at any rate. Uh, I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. Tommy's got his own technique. He throws dirt clods against the side of our house, and as they explode, he looks for worms. You got a worm? A worm! Oh. <laughs> Here, let me see you. Tim, hold it up. Hold it. Okay, hold it. A worm! So me and Tom have been trying the worm getter for a couple weeks now and I've probably caught 50, 60 worms with it but unfortunately only two of those I caught by doing this. The rest I caught by digging up the soil with the tip or scrounging around in the leaf litter or just finding them there when I flipped over a rock. Um, so I, I, it's not been a roaring success. However, it is a lot of fun though. And me and Tom had a really good time doing it. And for, yeah. And if you got a little one like, like Tommy here, they're probably gonna have a ball doing this. I actually wanna really learn how to do this right because it's getting under my skin. So I'm gonna keep at this. And if I figure out how to do this well, you're gonna see a video about it. So instead of giving up, I went and emailed Duke of DukeSportPro.com and he sent me a great email back giving me a lot of tips. And this is what I gleaned. I went and read his email, I went back and watched the YouTube video, and I learned a few things. First, look for worm castings. You gotta pick a spot with where the worms are and they're bedding down. So you look at the soil and look for places where the they've pooped up worm castings. You also need a place with some bare soil. It can't have a lot of leaf litter. And you also, the time of day is important. Mornings or nights are best, especially after a rain. If you can do it after a rain or after a dew, that's awesome. Also, you have to walk softly and quietly. The worms can hear you, they can hear your footsteps, so you have to really kind of be like a ninja. And then finally, I also learned I was doing it wrong. I wasn't grunting long enough. You have to grunt or rattle for about 15 or 20 seconds, not just three or four times. But when I did that, Things really turned around. It immediately a, uh, had immediate success. Went out at night after a rain, went to the exact same spot where I'd failed before. Boom, worms start crawling out of the ground. It 
felt awesome after weeks and weeks of trying to catch worms and grunt worms with a stick it was working like a charm it absolutely felt like this yeah any rate so sure enough i rattled it for about 10 seconds or so three worms uh two worms or whatever pop out you can watch them just wiggle right out of the ground they come flying out of there so i start rattling again sure enough more worms start coming and they just coming right out of the ground this is a spot i had hit you know several times before and it had not worked and yeah i followed duke's advice suddenly worms are coming out and i'm filling up the bucket so i keep at it sure enough rattle it some more and even more worms come out i think i got like seven eight worms out of that spot it was just worked like a charm um so it, it's it's not a magic wand i mean you can't just make works worms come out of the ground anytime you want but it actually works pretty well i mean it's uh, it's pretty amazing i went on and had a lot of success that night filled up my bucket um it takes some some learnings uh, you know you have to learn where to find the worms you have to learn when they're moving and when they're going to they're in a mood where they can be scared out you got to learn to be stealthy i mean it's it's a lot like fishing um there's a lot more to it than than it at first you seem but it's loads and loads of fun it, it's it's a challenge it's uh, for the same reason that i prefer to catch my fish rather than go to a store and buy my fish, I like catching my own worms. I mean, it's a challenge, it's outdoorsy, it's fun. Um, it's just a just another way of, of feeling independent and knowing like you can go to nature and, and find out how to how to catch something. It's, it's kind of fun. So I've really gotten into this and while it's maybe not uh, uh, my best method of getting lots of worms yet, um, it's a load of fun and I like it for the same reason I enjoy fishing and it's just uh, uh, and I'm getting better and better at it too and it's nice I can just throw this in my tackle bag and and uh, catch worms if you like this video don't forget to check out some of our other videos including how to catch earthworms with dish soap and uh, the worm taser project which is a interesting one so don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching